Welcome back to Instables, everyone. Again, going over our intraday and swing trade prediction here as we do have, again, our 20-day crossing below our 50, looking for that possible shift of momentum from bullish to bearish. However, again, jumping above our 50, looking to see if we can continue after today's CPI coming out exactly as expected, not increasing above expectations or dropping below expectations, hitting exactly on point. So again, the question is, can we continue on above the upper number channel? What exactly has to happen for us to continue here? I'm going to go over exactly what we're looking for here. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you're looking for very volatile breakouts, pre-market news before market open every single day, we mentioned that in the Instables room, two and a half hours before market open every single day. Go to instables.com in the description below. And only for $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert today again. Let's jump into this one. So jumping into the daily chart with you guys here on the spies, you guys can see again, we did continue on higher here. However, retesting the up end of our channel that we have been tracking again, we have been making sure that we did not get rejections on the up end of our channel, making sure that we did get that bullish candle set up if we were going to continue on above the up end of our channel again, multiple times rejecting the up end of our channel, making sure that we did not get that rejection. As you guys can see here, we are now retesting the up end of our channel, looking to see if we would continue. This is exactly what has to happen, guys. We got to break above the up end of our channel, get that retest and get that proof of concept again, getting a spike, get that possible pullback and then getting that possible engulfing candle showing us that proof of concept showing us that we are clearly respecting the up end of our channel here to possibly continue on higher again that's exactly what we're looking for here as you guys can see we had a break with our prior cpi just before our prior fed rate hike where again powell did mention that unemployment was too high we did have this pullback drop down below our 50 so again with this decrease in cpi is that enough for us to possibly continue on higher here again we do still need unemployment to increase technically so jerome powell is now put in a position where the market is pricing in a possible decrease in rates to come a possible 25 point base rate hike after again a decrease in cpi today again as the feds have been mentioning they're following data the question is will the feds listen to the market that we are now pricing in that possible fed pivot if we do continue on above the up end of our channel or will the feds lose credibility this is again powell versus the feds credibility here so again this is huge here this is a big move that needs to come here we are either going to get that proof of concept on the up end of our channel or we are going to again get that rejection here and make sure that we were careful maybe we get that possible momentum candle following that rejection on the up end of our channel and we follow through with our 20 below our 50 we continue to curl down here and we continue to break down and get that false breakout here and that would be that bull trap that everybody has been calling out for on the upper number channel however if we do get that proof of concept again looking for that spike looking for that retest and then looking for that proof of concept again on the upper number channel so again just keeping that in mind and again our largest indicator that we have been tracking in the dollar the strongest indicator again showing us weakness on the dollar shows us strength on the spy and we need that continuation on weakness on the dollar to show us that we can continue on the spy again as you guys can see we were looking to see if our 12 and our 26 would cross lower again if cpi did continue lower then we would have that possible continuation on in the market and that's exactly what happened here again our 12 was just looking to see if we would cross down below our 26 to continue on with that decrease in buy pressure and increasing now in sell pressure breaking below our prior sell pressure point showing us that increase in strength to the downside side here and as you guys can see again with that decrease on our 50 day moving average that we mentioned again over the weekend we did get that continuation now continuing on lower with our 20 still crossing below our 50 showing us that possibility of that continuation on lower and that's exactly what happened here we are leading into a lot of support coming up again we do have our prior continuation on here this will be a support that we will be looking for at 101 so again keep it in mind how much of a bounce do we have at our next support level and looking at the spy here as we are looking for that proof of concept on the up end of our channel is gonna be the watch here guys again on the rsi as we have been talking about since we got divergence since we have been talking about the rsi for the duration of this time here as you guys can see again we never jumped into overbought territory giving us that possible bullish case scenario so again we are pointing up we are getting very close to our prior high here on the rsi showing us that we can continue in my opinion if we do continue on above our prior highs that shows us that bullish case scenario at least short term to show that we are going to jump back into overbought territory but however that jump into overbought territory 
could be that major rejection possibly to come after getting confirmation again on a continuation with bearish divergence. So again, we do not want to jump back in over about territory and get this continuation on bearish divergence here. We want to see if we can break out of this and possibly continue on with new bullish momentum jumping in over about territory that will be the rsi and what we're looking for as far as that continuation again looking for that proof of concept here is going to be the watch here guys we'll see exactly what happens leading into tomorrow we are digesting cpi leading into tomorrow and leading into next week we'll see exactly how we digest now again with that said if you are a day trader if you're looking for very volatile breakouts we mention them every single day in the instable zoom any pre-market news that needs to be watched before market open every single day in the instables room go to instables.com in the description below and only for 15 dollars a month you will never miss a break alert today again and all of you instables again just taking with Mark gives us a very nice play today midday with xpo and that was a textbook breakout breaking above new highs of day that is the type of breakouts that we mentioned and also multiple breakouts this morning in pre-market out the gate that we had with multiple news plays. We will continue to take what the market gives us, guys. Again, just staying cautious, staying patient, and staying green is going to continue to be the number one focus that we focus on in the Instables room. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow, and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all, and I'll see you guys in pre-market.